Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Rohit and this is the 17th session. In this session, we will basically talk about that catalog data lookup definition. So if you see in my catalog item, uh, most of the, uh, it, it will be look up actually. So in our past video, we pretty much co covered all these object catalog item, variables, variable set, client script, UI policy, user criteria, workflow, catalog task, row designer, these are the stuffs. Today we will talk about the catalog data lookup definition. So this module is introduced uh, from the cubic release on the service now. Uh, so the, the catalog data lookup definition, this related list will be available from all the catalog item you see. This is my record producer, here it is available. So if I open um, my catalog item also, you can be able to see that, that uh, you know, uh, here also, this is actually present everywhere on the catalog item. So this is my order guide. If I scroll down inside the order guide, you can see the catalog data lookup definition. And now if I open these rule based or any of this specific catalog item also, you will be able to see this related list. So first I will tell you that what is the purpose of the catalog data lookup and how we can uh, use this catalog, um, I mean this catalog data lookup. So let me open the portal first and I will tell you that how we can use that. So in this portal, if you see the group access manager one and if I search with this group access manager, this is our order guide. In this order guide, we had a uh, one uh, type called internal. So once we select the internal, this is a variable set. Once we selected the requested for, basically the requested manager and the country is getting populated how it is getting populated by creating the client script we are doing a glide ajax call and by glide ajax call we are getting the user information from there and populating that information to um, um, by this script okay to overcome this glide ajax because in the client script there are a lot of places where we used to get this related information uh, get reference we use the glide ajax all those stuffs for that to overcome and to simplify that, uh, ServiceNow introduced that catalog uh, data lookup table. So this is the catalog data lookup table that is ServiceNow introduced. I will show you that how uh, how we can use that and then um, I'll give that that. So first let's open this record producer called application issue. I will open this uh, record producer maybe. I'll search that. In this record producer, you can see the requested by is showing, okay? So once you selected the requested by, I want to show the requested by manager or maybe the location, any of this field I want to populate. So let's say I want to populate the location, okay? So how can I do? First, I'll create a fields or variables here. In this application issue, uh, this is 100. After that, I'll create a uh, at 120 or 150 call location and then I will show you that how we can achieve that using the catalog data lookup. So the type will be reference and here uh, will be that user location. Okay and here the, uh, the uh, table will be CML location table something like that. All right, then the order will be 150 and I'll just save that. Now if I refresh that, this new variable should be populated there. You can see the new value, new variable is populated. Now, uh, based on the selection, either either my or maybe Abel Tutor or Abraham Lincoln, this user location should be pre-populated once they select that. So how do we do that in earlier? We created a client script and the client script calling to the glide ajax or maybe a script include from the script include we are doing these things but using the data lookup for simple uh, same for same table data okay for same kind same table data you don't need to do the glide ajax for complex definitely you have to use the glide ajax but but for the simpler function we can use that uh, these uh, catalog data lookup so i'll show you first how we can use that and set the location for some of the users. So let's open the user table first. 
and in the user table we will add the location here. So by default it is coming my name as a system administrator. So let's see what is my location. So I will say the system. So my location is empty. So I will select one location for myself. So let's say this is my location. Okay. For system administrator, this is my location. And for others, there are many users which have the location. Okay. So now let's set up that um, catalog data lookup. So if I go back to this record producer, so this variable is present to the catalog item level. So I will, uh, I will, this variable is created on the catalog item level. I will create a catalog data lookup onto that catalog item itself. But if you, if your variables under the variable set, so if you want to populate some information based on that, I mean inside the variable set, variable set itself also have the same definition for catalog data lookup. So you can use that. So I will go back to this catalog item and here I will define a catalog data lookup. So I'll click new. And here I need to be define the, uh, you know the name so let's say requested by information so this will be my name and here you can see the match at table match at tables means that from which table i want to match so let's example um so let's example that based on this value i want to get some uh, uh data right so how do we do that so i will basically what i used to do that I, if i want to get the user location i have to query to the user table right so this is my user table and then whatever is the location of the user table i will set this here right so basically the matcher table is the user table right because this i will go to the user table search with this uh, c side of the available tutor and then i will find out the location whatever value is the location i will set that so this is the process that i i used to do for that script right so i will select the match at table is the user table first now i will simply save that i will not going to change anything at that moment now once you save that there will be two um related list one is a catalog matcher variable definition another is the catalog setter variable definition by definition you understand that from this it will be query and by this it will be set the value right so i will uh, click new okay now match a table field means which field i am going to query so i am going to query to the sys user table i mean user table with the sys id of because this field returned me the sys id actually in the back then it's returned me the sys id right so in the match at table, I will query to the sys underscore user table by which fields by the caller ID field. Okay. And here you can see the exact lookup match. So if you check that only exact match apply. So if it is contents, contents will not look for. If you uncheck that, it will be look for contents. But if you want to exact match like uh, ABC and it will search that. Something like that. If you want to exact match, then you can, um, you know, do that definitely society will be unique so there is nothing needs to worry now i query this table right with these uh, with this uh, variables i will do that now i have to set what i have to save the location value i have to set into the user location variable for that what i'll do i'll simply click new here i will say the match at table field is the location and here you can see you have your options called which field you want to set. So we are, our case, it should be user location. Now you have a always replace. If you select that, if true, the matching lookup will update the source field even if the matching field is blank. If there is any, there is no value, it will also uh, show you, I mean, it will be marked as a blank. So we just complete this definition, catalog data lookup definition. Now let's refresh our case and see what is happening. So first of all, on load, it did not work because I mean, uh, my, I, I do have a location, but it did not work. 
So by default, the all node did not work. Let's see that for Abel Tutor it is working or not. So I will select that Abel Tutor and it is working. Based on the Abel Tutor, it is working. Let's pick any user who doesn't have any location. So this user doesn't have any location. Let's search with this user and select that. You can see it is not clearing. By on load it is not working. So let's see uh, if we uncheck this run on form changes, what is happening. So I just changed that run on, on uh, I mean unchanged. You can see by default, I mean, this is not working. So on load it did not work, but whenever you change that value, this is perfectly working fine. So these are the things you have to keep in mind before you implement that catalog data lookup. So that's it for today. Thank you very much. Have a great day.